Hello everyone and welcome back to my GoGeeko YouTube channel. Today we will be quickly talking about Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services which is also called as IICS and in this video I will be talking about how to create a mapping task and how to schedule that mapping task and how to provide failure success notification emails and if needed you can also provide pre and post processing commands all right let's get started this is your iics on top you go to new and you go to task which is your mapping task create and you give a mapping task name just follow some correct naming convention let's say i'm going to create a mapping task for one of the mapping which loads the dimension entity table you need to choose your runtime environment which is nothing but an agent running on one of the machine or server and then you select a mapping let's say we are create we are selecting this mapping and keep in mind in order to create a mapping task you have to have a mapping ready in your cloud environment now think of mapping task as a session task in informatica power center you create a session on top of a mapping similarly you create a mapping task on top of a mapping in iics select this mapping just gets the data filters out something and applies an expression and loads into a target table just if you wanted to see that mapping flow here now you hit next and this is the screen where you can actually schedule you can provide your failure notification so let's quickly go one by one so here is a schedule you can run it on demand but let's say we wanted to do a schedule here so you go to run this task on schedule and you hit new and there you can select what kind of schedule you want you want to repeat every hour weekly bi-weekly and then you can choose when which time so some of these schedules are there i have to say that these are not very uh, complex schedules here like which you will find in control m or tws or in tidal scheduling jobs or in or in airflow but this is a more than basic but many times this suffice your needs so right now i'm not choosing any but you can create one and you can select that then your mapping task will run your mapping based on that schedule you can use notifications if your mapping or mapping task fails then the email will go to the email address which you provide here similarly for warning and success you can also provide pre-processing and post-processing commands so for example in post-processing you may have a source file which you want to archive to an archive directory you may want to zip that file then you archive that file or you may want it to drop the indexes mainly these commands are for your unix commands or your operating system commands meaning if your agent is running on a windows server then you put some dos commands here but most likely your agent will be running on a unix box so you can put some unix commands here then if you want you can even parameterize your mapping and that way you can provide your parameter file name here so these are some of the basic things and once you're done you provide all that and you hit finish so let me correct that so because i'm not choosing for now i'm just creating that as a on demand and i hit finish and your mapping task is ready now if you want to run you can just run it let's quickly run that once you're run once you hit run then you can go and monitor that in under my jobs which is also here and you can see that it's running And this is a very quick mapping. You can also see it's already succeeded. You can download the session log. It gives you very nice information about your mapping run. Let's just quickly review that. So mapping does not have any errors. And it this is the number of rows it's uh, it loaded and there are no rows which are rejected. So 
all in all, this is a very simple session log like we see in Power Center. It shows you nice and clean, nice and clean summary. And with this, I just wanted to thank you all for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my Go Geeko YouTube channel and do share my videos with your friends. Thank you so much. Bye now.